cancer deaths worldwide. It's killed more than 700,000 people, according to the American Cancer Society. Liver cancer rates have more than tripled since 1980, while the death rates have more than doubled. And the economic burden that comes with cancer care can cost patients thousands of dollars. The American Cancer Institute estimates that surgery for liver cancer can cost up to $200,000, while less invasive annual treatments can be around $30,000. But now there's a new procedure that's helping liver cancer patients. Doctors are now using a new knife-free procedure. It can work alongside or potentially replace harsh chemotherapy, surgery, or radiation. Science and health correspondent Lindsay Thies is with us now. Uh, Lindsay, I know you went into an operating room to see this for yourself. What was it like? Um, well, first off, it was very humbling. Anytime we get to go and follow a patient along on a journey for something like this, for this procedure, patients do have to be put under. But other than that, this is a completely knife free, innovative procedure that's given by an interventional radiologist. And we saw this patient's liver tumor shrink in real time. For Jeff Perino, a healthy six mile run starts his day. Strong in my faith too, so I listen to a lot of, you know, daily devotionals and things that really keep my mind right. This jog, a big step. Five days prior, Perino was here. Doctors diagnosed him with stage four liver cancer in fall 2023. It spread to his renal glands and they found tumors in his liver too. I think more than 10. Sometimes we stop counting, unfortunately, when it's a lot. When I was first diagnosed, I got a lot of people. When they'd talk to me, they'd kind of look at me and they'd be like, hmm, you know, I could, I could sense that they were looking at me as if I was dying. And I was like, no, that's not the angle we're taking here. <laughs> Doctors need to treat the liver first. Perino is getting a new procedure called histotripsy. It removes hard to reach liver tumors with only sound. The FDA just cleared the device at a late 2023. It's made by Histosonics, a company formed by the University of Michigan researchers who developed the treatment. Histotripsy adds to aggressive cancer treatment plans. Doctors are doing more often as they see more young patients with cancers that have spread. Dr. Kevin Burton shows us Perino's MRI scans. This is in the right liver, and this is one of the ones we're targeting today. This lesion can't be removed with surgery, so we're going after it. Going after it works like this. Ultrasound allows Dr. Burns to see Perino's three centimeter liver tumor as it slowly moves around little by little. Ultrasound waves hit the disease tissues in this red target. It creates micro bubbles inside and those bubbles then collapse and make the mass break apart. It kills the tumor cells and the immune system cleans up what's left. We've had some ablations that are as short as like three minutes and some take an hour. And so now you can kind of see there's little white bubbles forming there, and those are the histotripsy bubbles um, that are killing the tumor. The histotripsy keeps healthy tissue intact. An early study show it also trains the immune system to target other cancer cells elsewhere. Hopefully it will give him a systemic response, will uh, help him fight the cancer in his body. Nonetheless, I'm going I'm to evict those suckers. And Jeff Perino says he's now back up to full speed. In a week, he'll have a roughly eight-hour surgery to remove the remaining tubers. After that, doctors will evaluate his next step. God's got this, and I'm just along for the journey. And in the post, I've been checking in with Jeff Perino every day. He just told me he did another six-mile run this morning. As far as this company, Histosonics is not publicly traded at this time, but they are working on expanding uh, this Edison uh, product into other commercial markets. Right now, it's also being used in the UK. As far as the science on this, next step, we'll be looking at what it can do for kidney tumors. Chris. He's got a great attitude, and six miles is, is just incredible. Science and health correspondent yeah. Lindsay Thies, great story, live from San Francisco. Thank you.